hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is property sue i do videos on real estate and real estate related matters and today is tuesday it's time to learn some new terms and today we are going to be learning several terms that seem confusing and those terms i usually use them when i'm um, maybe walking through a property and i put them in, in the subtitles here and sometimes you think you know something and sometimes you don't so i'll explain the ones that i think are or at least were confusing to me in the start and let's get into the video our, so our first three like confusing terms are living room lounge and living area living room and living area i normally used interchangeably so they mean like almost the same thing and then we have a lounge a lounge it's somewhere to relax and entertain and it usually has a television in most cases and a lounge is similar to a family room in that a lounge is in a place where it's accessible to everybody who comes into the house whereas a family room is usually somewhere upstairs maybe somewhere near the bedroom so where the family can have some private time and at the same time stay entertained and of course living area has furniture just like the lounge and it's a it's also a place to entertain but most of the time you don't have a tv in the living area moving on to the kitchen we a kitchen can either be open plan which means there is no partition uh, between it and the mostly the living room and the dining area it can be closed mean which simply means it's enclosed also in the kitchen we have the pantry a pantry is simply a food store the next term is en suit when i say the bedroom is en suit i mean it has its own washroom the other two confusing terms are usually cloakroom and washroom a washroom has a toilet and a shower and sometimes a tub and a shower while a cloakroom only has a toilet and mostly the cloak rooms are usually at the at the beginning of the house where like it's it's sort of a guest toilet that is simply what we call a cloak room another term is laundry area that is simply where you do your laundry and it is also called the dobby area and sometimes some people can call it the splash area the other two terms that people confuse are terraces and balconies a terrace is mostly an outdoor space that is next to the house and sometimes some people you see like like how you have a mansionette and some people prefer their rooftop to be to be flat sometimes some people could call that open space a terrace too then we have a gazebo a gazebo is a small structure outside the house and it looks like this Another term that is normally used in real estate is amenities. Amenities are features that make a property desirable and some and different people uh, define amenities in different ways. There are different types of amenities. We could have public amenities. Public amenities are those areas that surround a property but are not within it like parks hospitals malls those are called public amenities then we have property specific amenities these are mostly like pools gyms also cctv and electric fences can also be considered amenities another factor that you are going to see during the house walkthroughs is the measurement of the house sometimes i'm going to give the measurement in in square foot and sometimes in square meters that's it for today i hope you have learned one or two new things thank you for watching this video till the end if you have not subscribed subscribe down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified each and every time i upload such wonderful videos until next time it has been me property sue bye Feel the daylight on our skin We are young, we feel everything Yeah, it's starting to begin